I do not even know where to begin with breaking down these regionals. There's just too much good stuff. Week 4 has given us a buffet of exciting matches, unbelievable finishes, and thrilling nail biters, so I'm not sure if I should review these regionals or frame them above my mantle place. We've got familiar faces and some old favorites, and I don't need to blabber on anymore, so away we go. How about those Buckeyes? A phrase I'm obligated to say, otherwise my Ohio native sports professor from college will track me down and do his best Will Smith impersonation on me. Digressing back to robotics. 3015 got some time to sleep, and another trip to the finals having fallen short at Finger Lakes and Long Island number one. They took the number one seed and partnered up with 340, who they had a run-in with earlier in the season. They faced off against the two-seed Beak Squad and the Igniters, who almost got the lead out of Otto. Blue couldn't slow down Gurr's shooting, and 3015 got the high hub uncontested. 4028's bot picked the worst time and place for radio control issues, as Blue couldn't compete with a 3 on 2. 340 got the traversal, and 3015 was awarded the traversal in a high score for the event and the closing win. A one seed versus three seed in Iowa with the three seeded Crimson Robotics wanting to take it to a tiebreaker over the one seed Metal Cow Robotics. Liberty Robotics got three high shots in auto for Blue to give them the early lead. 2526 and 1764 ran all over the Red Alliance to score, but Red still scored their fair share of high cargo. Both sides got the double traversal, but Blue got the three-point victory to force a rubber match. This time around, Liberty Robotics got all of their shots to tie things at 26 in auto. This one was just as close, with 75-41 draining those high shots and Blue having some crucial misses. Red slowly but surely got the lead, but Blue was not far behind. A double traversal again on both sides, but this time Red eked out the victory and the regional. A 1 versus 2 seed in the finals in Lee's Summit with a 2 point lead for Red coming out of auto. 5801 and 1986 put up cargo for their respective sides with none of these teams backing down. Blue wanted a third match, Red wanted to end it here. 1825 had one hook on the high bar in a sketchy scenario before 1986 gave them the letter F. The Red Alliance still got a traversal due to contact, but Blue shooting was just enough to bring it to a tiebreaker. Match 3 had Blue taking the early lead, but 1710 had some drivetrain issues, leaving Red with a 3 on 2. Red tied it up in the last 30 seconds, with 1825 getting another sketchy climb, and 1986 joining them at the mid. This one could have been close, but 1847 got another G208 penalty, awarding Red another free traversal and the 20 point win. The Great North earn regional, sorry I couldn't resist. The unseated alliance of the Gators who won Northern Lights, and Thunder Robotics, who lost in the finals at Lake Superior, faced off against the seven seed of... The seven seed? Good golly, Miss Molly. Consider my interest peaked. Grand Force and the Otterbots, led by their captain, CIS, who was there at Lake Superior alongside Thunder, went on a run for the ages battling past the two-seeded Patriotics in the quarterfinals and the three-seeded Iron Mosquitoes in semis. St. Peter's, eat your heart out. Yet the Gators and Thunder Robotics were something entirely different. 5172 hit all five of their autonomous shots for red, while 4607 hit all four of theirs for blue. Just an eight-point difference in teleop, but that is as close as it would be. The Red Alliance 
never stopped attacking the high hub from their protected zone. 6453 went for the early traversal, and 876 joined them not long after in the 102-68 win. The Lake Superior winner Hilltoppers partnered up with Hexhound and Milwaukee United for the one seed and faced off against the three seed Warrior Bots, Beast Robotics, and Saber Robotics. Blue got the win in match one after 8802's truck of the Blue Alliance captain landed the Red Alliance a red card. Still, the number one seed looked to force a tiebreaker because if Blair's there, the hype's there. Multiball autos on both sides kept it close going into teleop. This match went back and forth with Red taking the lead toward the last 30 seconds. And oh boy, those last 30 seconds. 8802 found themselves in the blue hangar. After knocking into 2506, they bump into the other blue bots, awarding blue an automatic triple traversal. Those 45 points were very, very costly, and the three-seated Blue Alliance came away with the upset. Up a Creek Robotics won Oklahoma as an undefeated one seed and looked to do the same the next state over. They partnered up with Angel Botics, who fell short at Orange County to the High Rollers. The number one seed faced off against the number two seed of Coconuts and Highlanders, who were there when 1619 won Oklahoma. This was a tied match out of Autonomous, with Angel Botics and the Coconuts both bricking their last two shots. Red made this match theirs with accurate shots and shutdown defense. Up a Creek got up to the traversal, while the Highlanders just couldn't get there. Red took the second match, 101 to 79. Goose egg alert. 1619 has competed in both of their regionals and finished without losing a match. The remaining undefeated teams still have at least one competition to go. Let's see if anyone else can keep it going into Houston. Stipoles and Team Rice squared off against the Hicksville Jaybirds and Robo Tigers at the second Long Island Regional. Team Rice won the first Long Island Regional, while Stipoles came one yellow card away from a tiebreaker at Finger Lakes. 1796 got three balls in auto, while 694 got four of their own to tie things at 34. Blue had some unlucky bounces, while Red put up shots no matter what defense the number two alliance threw at them. 271 stalled out during endgame as their alliance partners climbed the hangar. Stipulse made it to the traversal at the last second, while 2869 got the mid literally at the buzzer to take the regional 125 to 73. The Bot Busters, who won Monterey, teamed up with Lambot, the captain of the alliance they beat in the finals at Monterey. They faced off in the Laguna finals against Pinoles and Serbotics. The Bot Busters got their four ball auto firing, while Blue's human player got the last second bucket. Red got the early lead and held on to it as the Bot Busters and Lambot kept the cargo going. Even when they missed, they still made it in. Blue got two robots up, but Red got the traversal and the 93 to 68 win. Wait a minute, why do I hear boss music? The Cheesy Poofs. A team I talked about at length a while back waited until week four for their first regional. They didn't even release photos of their robot until the day before this regional. But it was all worth the wait. With dual feeders and a monkey arm hanger, their ultimate goal for the season is reclaiming the mountaintop after falling short in 2019. 
their very first match set the world record for points with the Greybots before the Cheezies reset it in quarterfinals with the Citrus Circuits. Every match headed up to the finals was nothing short of a goddamn clinic put on by a lemon flavored electrical board and a team called Cheese with a corn dog as a logo. 254 put up flawless five ball autos while Citrus put up two of their own. 975 managed 5458's defense, but the blue side just couldn't keep up with the 120 points of cargo despite putting up 81 of their own. The Empire strikes back, taking the Sacramento Regional 160 to 111. Speaking of world champions, the top alliance at Monterey Bay is captained by one. Madtown Robotics partnered up with the Raging Sea Biscuits and Bread and took on the number two seed of Breaker Bots, Nuts and Bolts, and Presentation Invasion, who we saw at the finals in Ventura County. Presentation Invasion got a three ball auto, but Madtown's five ball auto gave Red the lead. Mad Town was on fire, sinking shots whether under pressure or uncontested. 5940 also came through with their shots and Blue scrambled to get offense and defense going. Blue got a double traversal but they also got buried in red cargo as the number one seed wins it 115 to 85. Okay, now why do I hear more boss music? Before the Poofs made their entrance at Sacramento, we watched as the swivel head and monkey arm of Orbit broke records and crushed teams in the Israel districts. They did the same at District Champs, including a new record 191 points with only 8 being from penalty. Wanna know how confident I was about them dominating? I started writing this paragraph before this event even started. Even scarier is they still weren't the number one team. That distinction went to 1577 because ranking points go burr. Steampunk picked Orbit and 3065 who finished the qualifiers 3, 8, and 1. All they had to do was get in the way of blue and the other two bots would go to work but Blue still put up a fight. 1574 and their alliance scorched the earth to the finals too. Yet against Orbit, there was only so much they could do and the Red Alliance came out with the win. May God have mercy on anyone facing Orbit at Worlds and should Orbit match up with the cheesy poofs, may God have mercy on us all. We are at the halfway point for the season already time flies when you're having fun if you like this video make sure you actually hit that like button and let me know subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss out on what the rest of the season has to offer i'll see you in week five until then stay safe and remember gracious in victory professional in defeat Amen. 13-34 getting in place. And 49-17. 49-07 makes it up right before the whistle blows.